Hi everyone, it's Adiola. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Han Hyunmin is Korea's most famous half-black model. Back in 2021, I made a video about the then teen model who made waves in spring of 2016 when he debuted at 15 as Korea's first model of mixed African-Korean descent. Now at 21, almost 7 years into his career, Hyunmin has continued his ascension into international superstardom. Today, I will talk about what the Nigerian-Korean celebrity has been up to since I last left off. Special thanks to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. I engage with a lot of entertainment from outside the US and often get blocked trying to stream videos from a foreign country. With Atlas VPN, you can easily change your online location to the country of your choice and access your favorite content. That way, you can watch shows like Riches on Amazon Prime, a series about a Nigerian-owned cosmetics empire in the UK from all over the globe. Not like your mother. I won't take this line down. Say it again. Nah, she ain't about it. Not to mention, this VPN has the best deal in the market. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount. It means you can get a 3-year subscription for just $1.99 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. One subscription allows an unlimited amount of devices. Atlas VPN also keeps your Google searches private, stops ads and malware, along with helping you find the best deals while shopping online. So don't forget to click the link in my description box below and get this deal for $1.99 per month. Now let's get back to the video. Hyunmin, who was born to a Korean mother and Nigerian father, initially struggled to make a way for himself in the Korean fashion world. Despite facing rejections from designers for his darker skin tone, he's managed to trailblaze both inside and outside the industry. Hyunmin has been gracing the runways of major fashion brands, including Louis Vuitton's Seoul Fashion Show for their fall-winter 2021 men's collection. Late Ghanaian-American fashion designer Virgil Abloh, known for founding popular luxury streetwear brand Off-White, was the artistic director of Louis Vuitton's menswear collection from 2018 until his passing in 2021. According to the Louis Vuitton house, Abloh created the spin-off collection to change predetermined perceptions of dress codes, telling Vogue he paid homage to his heritage through a fusion of West African and North American styles. As seen on Hyunmin, the collection included kente cloth, a fabric native to Ghana, emblazoned with the Louis Vuitton logo, a modern take on the native textile. Hyunmin's modeling didn't stop at the runway either. He appeared in rapper Peak Boy's music video for his song Gyopo Hairstyle, co-starring next to actor Park So Joon and singer Kim Tae Hyung. He also continued working in ad campaigns and posed for major fashion magazines such as Elle. In 2021, Hyunmin made his Netflix debut in Korean sitcom So Not Worth It. The series follows college students in an international dorm navigating the unique conflicts they encounter. The main cast includes several foreign and mixed actors, many of which viewers felt were given stereotypical roles to play, which were almost degrading compared to two of the non-mixed Korean actors who had a typical K-drama love storyline. For example, Minnie from K-pop group G-Idol, who's from Thailand, played a K-pop K-drama obsessed Korea boo who was constantly thirsting over any random Korean man she can get her hands on. At times, her character is even portrayed as promiscuous. In the first episode, the other students see her in the dorm only wearing a long sweater and they question why she isn't wearing pants. Although one of them answers that it's a fashion trend, Minnie retorts that she actually lost her pants while partying. This could be viewed as normal college behavior, but it stands out as none of the other female characters on the show are shown this way, pushing the stereotype that single foreign girls are easy. Hyunmin's character also seems to fall to similar stereotyping. As the only mixed black Korean character on the show, he is often portrayed as dumb, constantly making silly mistakes that cost him a lot. He also randomly breaks out into a rap during one scene while the other characters dance behind him, with this being the only music video-esque shot in the entire series. Again, this could be viewed as innocent, but it comes across suspicious considering the series features three characters who are actually K-pop idols in real life, yet they never show off their musical skills, including Minnie, Sam who is played by Young Jay of GOT7, plus Yujin of CLC and Kepler who plays Hyunmin's sister. Minnie, whose character even auditions for a K-pop company in the show, never has a music scene like Hyunmin. It's possible the writers are playing on the stereotype of black people not being very smart while also being good at rapping. The way the show navigates topics like racism and sexism often comes off as haphazard. 
Despite the problematic factors, So Not Worth It had many fans and was overall seen as a success and applauded for its diversity, being the first Netflix Korea sitcom. Hyunmin continued to act after this, making his debut on the big screen in January 2022 in Korean action film Special Delivery. The movie, which was filmed in 2019, features Parasite breakout star Park Sodam as a car junkyard employee who secretly works as a driver for fugitives, with her being paid to transport these special deliveries under the radar. Hyunmin co-stars as vehicle repair expert Asif, who quickly fixes the broken down special delivery cars. Special Delivery received several awards, both domestically and internationally. Wanting to spread his wings further into entertainment and overseas work, Hyunmin departed from his original agency SF Models in April of 2022. The split seemed to be amicable as his former agent Yoon Bum, who was the one who discovered Hyunmin when he was a teen, wished him a public goodbye while reminiscing over his past achievements. June that same year, Hyunmin signed an exclusive contract with Sublime, an agency home to popular Korean entertainment celebrities, such as actor Song Gong Ho of Oscar award-winning movie Parasite, Young Jae and Jackson Wang of GOT7, along with Tiffany Young from K-pop group Girls' Generation. Sublime stated they plan to support Hyunmin in both domestic and global activities so that he can fully unleash his potential. It's also been revealed that Hyunmin is trying to sign with a local agency in the US with the goal of making his American debut soon. Sublime didn't hesitate to send him abroad, with Hyunmin traveling to New York City within days of this announcement, home to the biggest fashion hub in the United States. Outside of acting and modeling, Hyunmin has also been performing as a DJ under his stage name Nappy with his friends under their DJ collective MMW. Hyunmin has shown his love for Afrobeats, a music genre originating from Nigeria, on multiple occasions. With music being one of Nigeria's biggest cultural exports, it's not surprising to see Afrobeats touching every corner of the world. Hyunmin regularly posts music by his favorite Afrobeat artists, such as Wizkid. From playing old Wizkid hits like Oju Aleba in his DJ sets, to posting Wizkid's Grammy-nominated album Made in Lagos on his Instagram story with the caption reading Kigeria represent, it's obvious Hyunmin is proud to platform his Nigerian culture for others to see. He also likes other music genres such as Neo Soul, New Jack Swing, and Funk. He's also been connecting with other Nigerian-Korean models in the industry such as viral teen model Jenny Park. The two have walked the same runways and modeled in the same campaigns before and are currently co-stars in a YouTube web series with another half-Korean entertainer. The show is titled English Bal, with it being a play on the Korean curse word Shibal, which loosely translates to the F word in English. On the show, they play games and go through challenges that involve using English, which is a difficult but funny task for the three of them. The goal is to earn points which translate to mileage, with the ultimate winner getting a flight to their city of choice. Hyunmin chose Madrid as he wants to go watch soccer there. Hyunmin has accomplished a lot in his career, and I can't wait to see what the future has in store for him. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Also, leave your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon.